warm it up. Main drain bolt is right here on the left side of the bike. tight there crack open the fill spot so you can allow air to get in and let all the oil drain when it's done draining put the drain bolt back in next you'll need an eight millimeter socket to take off this front cover plate here so that we can drain the oil from the frame there's three bolts one the frame drain bolt is the same size as the engine drain bolt. This stuff comes pouring out, so it probably hit the front tire. Crack open the dipstick in the frame to let more oil come out of the frame so that air can get through it. and snug it once it's completely draining. Now I'm not gonna change the oil filter because you don't need to every time, but the oil filter is located right here with three bolts. You just take those three bolts off, take the old oil filter out, put the new one in, the same way the old one came out, bolt it back on. Right here inside this line, this is the oil coming from the frame that goes into the motor. There's a filter right here. That filters the oil from the frame before it goes into the motor. Each time you change your oil, you should take this off and blow out that filter. Make sure it's not dirty or anything. This is an 05 YZ250F. The manual calls for 1.06 quarts without a filter change. I'm using regular four-stroke Valvoline motorcycle oil. It's made specifically for motorcycles. 10W40 and it has uh, wet clutch protection that's what you need to make sure it has you're ready to fill up the engine with the new oil get you a, a funnel so you don't spill it all over your motor and the full quart goes right in here you don't put any into the frame up there where the dipstick is after you're done filling it up with oil, make sure you put this cover back on and after you've cleaned out the filter that's in this line, go ahead and put the cover back on, start your bike up, and let the frame fill up with the oil that you just filled the engine up with. Let it run for at least five minutes and then check the dipstick that's right here. Make sure you're in between the low and high lines and you're good to go.